Hello again. This is the Watering Man. Spiritual Toolbox number 227. John chapter 3, recording number 76. And audio recording number 545. And examination table number 205. Let's document this. We're going to be in John chapter 3, verse 12. Continue in that verse. <coughs> now, in the King James Version, it says, And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Okay. <coughs> this month. <coughs> okay. Now we were down. We left off, hath ascended up, uh, at a, in a barno, I think is where they said it. We covered and, which is at Kai, 2532, and no man, which is at Odis, or Odis, I think is where they said it. O U D I D E I S, 3762, and now we're on, hath ascended up. And a bino, 305. This word. Strong's G, 305. <clears throat> on a bino. On a bino. On a bino. Okay. Now that word <clears throat> is a verb, and its etymology is from 303 in the base of 939. Online. Biblical usage. It says to be born up, to spring up, okay, just like burning up this garbage thinking in our mind, this old carnality that we're giving up freely in these eyes of the storm. God's separating it in the centrifuge. Okay? And then, then it says choose. Now, as we return in hot pursuit, we, we, we rely on upon that seed of God and all the whatever at whatever level all the increases that God's given us like if we go from four to eight remember we're relying upon the four strings plus the two plus the one and then that one that God gave us that that's Carl mine one's called zero but it's that it's not it's like a one e to the negative 35 all right divide one by 35 times one, one tenth, one hundred, one thousand, all the way down, thirty-five times, that's the seed of Christ. We gotta rely upon that. Make God true, acknowledge God the truth. And this thing too. <clears throat> right? No matter how hard the situation, the pressures of life is, God's in control of this too. Worlds don't go into hell in a handbasket. Turn from that thing. Hey, yuck, what are you talking about, man? God's still in control. He's not out of control of this. He's just spinning it up. It's pretty harsh. But learn your lesson. First time, don't want to have to double it. Double hardness. Oh, double the pressures. That didn't work. Double again. Oh, no. Double again. Oh, one, two, to four, to eight. Oh, man, 16 times is hard. As I had to be if I'd just turn less than the first time. And turn from that old poop thinking, your old righteousness, and go back to God in full bore. Turn 180 degrees away from your way of thinking, your righteousness, believe in that old lying dog inside of you, that old lying beast nature. Barking in some language, that's beast nature language. 
not God's nature, not God's love beyond words, not, not God's righteousness. God loves you beyond the mere des the description of mere words. Can't describe how great that love is. Believe that. Believe going back into God. Oh, he's the greatest. This other thing is just wrong, wrong, wrong. Well, I think it's right. Pillar of salt. Right? Whoops. You turned around. Double it. Oh, no. You mean instead of one big troll, this, this hog slop, I gotta eat two of them? Oh, man, that one just about killed me. Oh, okay. <coughs> I'm drowning in this stuff. It's coming out my ears and nose. Nope, that didn't work. We're going to do four now. Pretty soon you're like eating like, man, what you mean? I got to eat 64 big handfuls of that. My works, my efforts, everything I'm doing, 64 times. It's coming out everything. It's coming out where I don't have holes. Coming out my ears. It's coming out my eyes, my nose. Coming, oh man, oh. It's making a whole, oh, I've got diarrhea all the time. It's taking my seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell on that ego. I'm really experiencing the shits. <laughs> Thinking, right? The diarrhea is killing my butt. Right? From the inside, it tastes good at first. I thought, man, this stuff is pretty good. Looks like it's good. It says it's good. That alpha dog, I mean, that my own right-mindedness says, man, this is the way to go. It's a straight line to this mind of Christ. Just do it my way. Follow me. I'm your... Didn't even realize that thing had a bandage on its eyes. That old dog, that's what it is, that beast nature. Not some devil out there. It's saying, look, don't bother that. Don't mess with that devil out there. He's mean and he's he's almost powerful as God. I think he might be overwhelming him sometimes and make him kill everybody. Torm not just kill him, but torment him. Worse than anybody could ever do, he's villainizing. God, blasphemous talk. He gonna throw him up. He's trying to scare you, scare the hell out of you. <laughs> Mind you, it just says, and then that quacking parakeet is getting there. You know what it says? The beginning of all understanding is to fear God. You know what I mean? You gotta. No. Man shall not live by bread alone, by that old natural carnal dog feeding him bread. It's bullshit. That ain't bread. That's hog slop. It's eating. But from every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, God's thought process is turn from that stuff. I ain't eating that stuff. I done stuck it in my mouth once. Maybe doubled it. Time or two went two or four, and then that, that's enough for me. I don't know what no more big trolls of that old red horse chewing it up as a little kid. I don't want that as an adult. Oh, yuck. Maybe give me cancer in the mouth. Cancer inside if I keep eating and swallowing it. Give me all some bleeding ulcers and God, God, God knows what. That's not as bad as eating hog slop. And eating that carnal mind and stuff tells you good and evil is worse than that. And you're telling me, oh, it's good for you. Trust me, I'm your buddy. You imposter of light, you stupid dog, shut up. Here, here's a big old sock and duck cake for you. Right? Don't believe the alpha dog. Don't believe that parakeet that's going, ah, God says this. The beginning of all understanding is the fear of God. Wack, wack. No. Misinterpretation you didn't study. So you could accurately handle that word, that thought process of God. And your carnal mind will twist it to your own destruction. Don't trust that son of a bitch. That old dog. Bark, 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 bark. It's a bitch dog. Call it for what it is. Your old humanistic nature 
your own righteousness. Good, bad, ugly. But I was telling you, here, do this. This is a good thing. Here, you're a bad person. You messed up. Er, God's going to condemn you to hell. He's a monster. I'm villainizing him. He's the worst felon there ever was because he's the, the most powerful. And man, you better be afraid of him. Beast them what you're talking about. You. Recognize it. Turn from it. You shut up. And go back into God. Full bore. Get away from that stuff. You shall walk on the heads of the snakes. The demons, devils, all this stuff. Those ungodly thought processes. Not some monsters out there set for what it is. It's in your mind where God's working. In the outer court, holy place. Inside your mind, the holy of holies. Let God purify that water, those little balls of water. <coughs> Agree, this is for me. It's not to me. God's not allowing some big bad devil to torment to you and go get your kids and get. No. Go on beyond that rudimentary thing. That stupid thinking. Don't keep thinking the lawnmower out there is a big monster. Use it properly and keep your grass cut. Hmm. Don't go out there. I'm going to stop that bleed. Huh? With my hand. My own works. All this stuff going on around me and everybody else having all these problems. I'm going to go out there and just stop that blade of that lawnmower with my hand. With my efforts. My works. Chop. Chops it right off, don't I? Oh, man, I lost fingers. Why'd you do it? Why'd you let that devil beat me up? I was just trying to cast out them demons and monsters out there. But with... God didn't tell you to do that. Sticking your foot in your mouth, aren't you? I said, get that log out of your eye so you can see clearly to get that splinter out of your own eye. Or get that splinter out of your brother's eye, I'm sorry. Right? What you're seeing is a splinter, which is actually a log in their eye. But you know very little about it, if anything. Because God dealing with them. <clears throat> right? Get that um, log out of your own eye. That carnality in that area of your thinking. Then you can see clearly. To help them to whatever level that God has brought you. Don't think of yourself too highly. No, think soberly. Soberly. Okay. God's taking you and purified it. One to two to four to eight. And your bridge is that strong. Right to that level. And that in there is the only chance you got relying upon that one, two, to four, to eight, plus that little seed that they call zero, that that carnal mind is called zero, but it's actually a one e to negative 35, that seed of Christ. <clears throat> but the carnal mind has no knowledge of, and none of that, it has none of those increases, so it has none of that. So your bridge is this strong. Let's go and then whatever you, uh, you jump to next. All this in there, you might be able to help a little bit. If it's if it's asked. If God directs you to do that. If not, don't go out there and try to stop that lawnmower blade. With your hand, with your works, with your effort. Don't go, well, I think. Your own righteousness. Well, I better. There's all this needs out there. It's just like they're flying and running. Man, I'm going and I'm look at all this stuff I'm doing for you, God. Look, I'm flying like an eagle. Slow down, my child. 
do whatever the Father says. Slow down. When you're running, slow down some more. You're slowing down through those three ages, three days in your tomb, in each and every thought process. So that you're walking, resting, relying, living, breathing, existing in Christ. And whatever the Father says, just like Jesus said, he mean, his name means Yahweh is salvation, right? 2424 is Jesus. God is salvation, right? Don't go out there in your own hands, your own works, try to stop that lawnmower blade. What's going to happen if that thing's running ball in the natural? It's mowing that grass down. Stick your hand in there. Your finger's going to be like that grass, too. Whack. Well, about a millisecond or a nanosecond, maybe. Whack, whack. <laughs> Might take a little longer than a nanosecond. I don't know. Pretty fast. Whack. He going to hurt. Might not, might lose them permanently. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That's the natural thing. Spiritual. When you're doing that, so out there trying to run and fly, fly, run. Before you, you're trying to do all this stuff. Take care of everybody's needs. Mm -mm. Do what the Father tells you. Hmm. All right. And see, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. And don't try to go out there and do it all by yourself. Try to stop that lawnmower blade because it's a big bad monster. It's not some devil, some big demons out there or something. No, it's a tool. Clean your yard up. And who's doing that as you as a little kid? Your daddy and mommy. Most generally. Or maybe it's hired by somebody. Or like I have, because I can't, I can't do that stuff anymore uh, physically. My, my dearly beloved uh, younger brother. Got a big old zero turn. We live right beside each other. He, he just... Hops on there and mows it for me. He scolded me before for doing that, about falling off the lawnmower. So I saw him dumping buckets of water over me and stuff, trying to keep me cooled down. And <laughs> about falling off the dang old thing. Him and my wife, and man, they just give me a ripping. Okay, I gotta give up what I want to do. Take care of my own yard. I'll let you cut it for me. It just takes him just a little bit on that, but man, I appreciate that so much. Thank you, Bobby. Okay, now in the spiritual, don't try to stop the lawnmower with your, your works, your efforts. Don't be a dumbass. Stop being a dumbass. Oh, man, I done cut my arm up, but pull up to my elbow. Better stop that pretty soon, or I ain't going to have even an arm. <laughs> I done did this 15 times. <laughs> 15 times, you'd be dead, probably. All right. <coughs> okay, now. Let's get into this verse here. We're on this anabino. Okay. <clears throat> now. Alright. Uh, we said it was to spring up. God's burning up that garbage as we agree back in the hymn full bore. Alright. Turn from that old stuff. Try to stop lawnmowers. Trying to do our own righteousness. Turn from that. Real recognize it. That's just stupid. There's not no monsters out there. That's my own dumbass righteousness. Quit listening to that he-haw and donkey in here. Recognize it. 
That's a jackass. I don't need to listen to that. Shut up. Man shall not live by bread alone, but from every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. No, no, you're old, my old stinking thinking. It's not by my might or my power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Turn from that stuff, recognize it. Make God true, and all men, all that humanity, all that beast nature's a liar. Whether it sounds good or bad, it's from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And it's not from God. Shut up, you old dog. I hear you. I got something for you, buddy. Sock and duct tape. <laughs> Remember, be still. Put them as one, you old dog. And his winds and waves were totally quiet. You can hear what God is saying. You know, that still small voice. That one that you need, right? From four to eight, level four to eight. You're pr provided the four plus two plus one is seven, and there's one needed. That's that one that Carl Mind is telling you there's zero. There's nothing here for you. But there is. It's the seed of Christ way down there beyond your natural abilities. It's there. Quiet that dog down, that beast nature down. Don't listen to it. And then God gives you the spiritual ears. As he gives you spiritual ears and you um, optonomize, you recognize it. Oh, wow. And, and understand it. You see, hear, taste, touch, and smell starts opening up to the Spirit of God. That understanding comes flooding in. And you turn, you admit, repent, you metanoia in your mind. This is a habitual thing. Habitually practice this thing. And you turn from that. And you head back into God full bore. And he gives you the increase. The horao. Through this experience. Oh wow. And there's much gratitude. And gratefulness. This is the power. The spirit of God. He's increasing you. Little bit by little bit by little bit. And actually with this one added to the four. It's doubled to eight. Then that one is required Plus all you got, the 8 plus the 4 plus the 2 plus the 1, and you need that one, boom, it's again. And again, and again. Pretty soon you're going 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. Hmm? In God's timing. Not yours, you can't hurry him up. He's never early, never late. Right? He's going to stand by what he says. Therefore, live, live, walk. Don't try to fly and run. In your youth, your immaturity, you're going to want to do that. And it's in each and every area of your thought processes. Don't think because one area is down at a certain level, maybe a level 256, that this other area God's working in is up there too. Huh? God's got to bring it there. How many areas you got? Oh, about a myriad. An innumerable number. And it's constantly increasing. So be sober-minded. Be humble. Huh? Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. All you holy ones. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord, all you holy ones, and he will lift you up higher and higher, and he will lift you up again and again. Humble thyself, humble thyself, humble thyself. In the sight of the humble thyself, humble thyself, humble thyself. In the sight of the Lord, always. See? Humble thyself. One, two, 
four, again and again. We got two. Humble thyself. Boom. Inside of the humble thyself. Boom. Side of the humble thyself. Boom. And it is cursed at God's pace, not yours. At God's cadence. <clears throat> Not this old carnal mind said, How much? How? Oh. Remember that? On that word, that exclamatory, back I think it was in the last verse. Hmm? It's going plumb nuts. How much you want me to give? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Fucking you, law. And I'm the law. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Beast nature. Shut up. I shall not live by that kind of bread. I live from the words of God, the thought processes of God, the very existing in God. Not from this outer court. Not from just this holy place. Remember, in the New Promise, New Testament, it's not outer courts done away with. It's just holy place and holy of holies. Oh. We got to go on beyond this, just that, this outer court and holy holy place. Go into the holy of holies. In your mind where God's working. Take care of your own thinking. God, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God's righteousness, not yours. And all this other stuff will be added to you. Don't worry about it. God tells you, take care of this person in here. Yes, sir, Father. You do all things as unto the Lord. Take care of that person. Take care of this. But there's all kinds of other stuff going on that needs to take care of. Don't get deflected like that chess tactic. Get you doing something else and then your king... Is that the unguarded checkmate in your mind? Well, man, I took this other piece over here, and I, I want a lot of material. Yeah, but your dumbass got checkmated. Doing it, didn't it? I want a queen. Yeah, but look, he checkmated you with a rook and a knight over here. Don't you think you, don't you feel like a sucker? He did a used car salesman or a politician on you. I'm talking about your own righteousness. It's a sneaky snake. That bossy alpha dog inside you told you what to do. Take it, queen. Take this other stuff. Win. You're winning. Add up the points. And check paint. Oh, man, I lost. You keep doing that stuff, you never get better at it. That's the game of chess. This is a game of life. Game of living in God. Increasing back to God. Because this natural life is but a vapor. It's vanity of vanities, right? It's that Havel. H-E-B-E-L. It's all temporary and unsatisfactory. Transitory. Emptiness. Grand scheme of things. Hmm. Huh? You're going to remain selfish, wanting your own rights and minds. And man, I got to get rich. I got to get me a bigger barns and bigger buildings and bigger houses, bigger cars. Yeah, I got to show up. I got to, be, I got to compensate because I'm, I'm a little person and I got to have a bigger vehicle or more. I got to spend this. I got to have a great house and so many rooms in it. I can't even, uh, I can't possibly even clean them. Much, eat, much less uh, living all of them. That don't matter though. I'm a flying, huh? Or I'm a running, huh? I'm taking care of all kinds of stuff. Quit that selfish, self centered righteousness. Only you can do it yourself. Blessing to God. It's not the having that stuff. Or having the riches of this world that matters. 
Okay? That's not the evil. The evil is that love of money, that love of riches, that love of gain, that horse nature always wants more, more, more. Okay? <laughs> not getting very far in this Anabino, but I'm teaching a lot here. God just take me, okay? We'll have to cover this one again. Okay? But uh, I just got down to this. Born up, spring up. God's taken and giving you opportunity to be brought up. He's burning up that old garbage thinking and seek him first. Let him give the increase. Very important to learn this. Okay. And as you do this, God gives the increase. And pretty soon after a while, it's like from 256 to 5, uh, well, it's 512. That's 256 gain. And all you did was rely on what God's given you and plus that one. That seed of Christ. Oh, my. All of it. That in there is God. That's the true alpha in you. Don't listen to that alpha dog. It's a lie and the truth is not in it. Make God true and all men, all that alpha dog stuff, a liar. All that lying he on donkey, all this bull crap, okay? This is being spiritual toolbox number 26, John 3, recording number 76. Thank you.